Hello, today we will be unboxing our I Do hydroponic system and um, letting you know how this is set up. So what we're going to do is take everything out of the box and come back to you. Right, now I've just taken it out of the box and out of its bag. It did have two pieces of um, foam at either side to protect it. And then we have um, almost like a, a quick start guide here and our um, setup guide instruction booklet. Now, um, it had some tape around here which I've taken off. And if I lift this light up, here is where we put our little baskets. We have some support rods here. These is this is the growing medium, the little um, sponges that you put the seeds into. I like the packaging; it's very cute. This um, contains the baskets and the little um, domes, little plastic domes that go on the top. Oh, that's the plug. And in this box, oh, this is this. Oh, um, these are the nutrient bottles. So we've got an A and a B. Now I'm just going to show you inside. go so we can see this is where the pump um, pumps the water around and aerates the water other than that just a standard tank right so we've taken everything that we need out of the bags to save the crinkling on camera here we have seven um, support rods which I haven't taken out because we don't need those just yet and then this, the growing medium, they're like little um, sponges and there are 14 of those. Well, we need seven at the moment, so we've just taken seven out. We have our baskets here, which these fit into. Okay. And then these are the little domes, which as you will see shortly, sit on the top to act as little mini greenhouses or we also have these caps which sit over in case you are not using um, each section because you don't want the light to get down into the water because that will cause algae okay first stage first thing we're going to do is um, hydrate the plant food so actually comes with a very handy measuring cup and then inside are some tablets and you fill these with room temperature water and then give them a good shake Luckily I have Rose here who can be giving these a shake. I've just kind of filled it up to the shoulder. I'll just do the second one. Okay, now we'll give these a good shake until it dissolves. Now, bottle B was a lot easier to mix because it had like crystals inside of it instead of the big tablets. So if you can hear the shaking, that's Rose in the background still shaking up bottle A. 
Now I'm going to fill the tank. This takes five litres of water. Right, so I've filled that up now. You can see here there's a fill line at the back there. And also Rose has finished doing the bottle A. Now for every litre, so this is when you're topping up, for every litre of water that you put in, you're going to need five millilitres of each of the nutrients. This is during the germination stage. When the plants are fully grown, again, it's five millilitres per litre, but they do recommend that when they're in the active growing stage that you use 10 millilitres of each nutrient for every litre of water. Now, because there's five litres of water in there, you need 25 millilitres of each. And as I say, the caps are handy little measuring cups and there's 15 millilitres um, can fit into there, so I will need a bit more, but that's our A and our B. I'll just get some more. There we go. Go on, Rose. She wants to put the uh, last bits in, the last 10 millilitres of each. And actually, I think I'll use a stick. Just to give it a little swirl around. I need the supporting. Yep, just swirl the water around. There's a little bridge in the centre. There is. Right, now we are going to put all of the little sponges inside the baskets. All done. Now this did come with some rather nice handy little plant label. So Rose is just writing those up now. Best handwriting please Rose. And um, what you need to do is pre-soak your seeds for about an hour. Now we knew this was coming today so we have had our seeds in soak and we'll go and get those now and we can start planting. Okay now I'm just going to put the lid on. And actually we've got a little um, note there that we should take off. There we go. This was just to say that um, if the light goes off, you push the lid down again until you hear a beep, and that should reset it. Now, the first ones we're going to sow are these Wong Bok Chinese cabbage. Have them in soak. So we're just going to it recommends that you put three or four in each um, cell. I'm just going to drop those in. It handily has a, um, I'm not sure if you can see with the light. There's, there's a bottom to the hole. It's, it's not very deep, so that's actually quite good. I think the hardest bit of this is getting the seeds off of my fingers. Yeah, this is definitely the hardest part of this so far. <laughs> right, so they're in there and I'm going to just pop that in there. So I don't know if you can tell by the way that's slightly floating before it's settled down. That has gone into the water. The, the sponge will soak up the water and then I'll just pop the label in there. And now I know Rose is going to want to do the others um, so I'll let her do those right so Rose you can start with your spinach because these are quite big seeds I would say maybe just put two in this is perpetual spinach or just one is it only fitting one in well no you can fit more but it's taken up the hole yeah well we'll put two and we'll see how they go this is what we're growing and then should I put this in here? Yes. Actually put it at the back for the spinach. And we can have two spinach for Yeah, we'll do two spinach. Put that there. Okay, now we're moving on to Napa cabbage. How many should I put in these? All of them? Um 
I would put in maybe four. This just come in a small little packet like this, so. Gosh, you're right about them sticking into your fingers. Yeah, you do. I got one in. <laughs> These ones are going to be even trickier. Okay, now we are doing little gem cos. I think that one's going in. So at the back, in the middle, we've got the spinach. On the outer edges are the Chinese cabbages, and the front three we will do just ordinary lettuce. This one I'm going to put here in the middle. Yeah, little gem cores. Do I put all five in? No, just put four in, darling. And then we have lettuce all year round. Your layer around is going here. Okay, there's the label. And then the last one we have is a mixed lettuce leaf. Last label, mixed salad leaves. All of them should soon soak up. Okay. Now we can pop the little, ah, yes. I don't think the little lid will fit on with the labels in. So where can we put, oh look there's little holes behind, is that? Uh, yeah. For the labels? No, that's mm. not. Ah, a design for. See if you can pop the little cap on. No. We'll just rest it over because I mean it's not going to get knocked or moved. And there's no active fan. So there we go. Design floor. If you're putting the labels in, you can't fit the mini blue caps. Little caps on the top. Maybe there's a better way of putting the labels. This is something we will have to sort out, obviously. Right, now I've put this in situ where it's going to sit in our kitchen. And it says to bring the light down um, quite low. And I'm not sure how well you can see the difference between colour, between the back ones that we did first and these. They have already soaked up the nutrients. Now, on the top here, we have three modes. Normal, enjoy and grow. Now, at the um, germination stage, you just want the normal, which is... 14 hours of light, 10 hours off. And then enjoy, they say this is for, say if you have it in your bedroom and you want a good night's sleep, you can have 12 hours off rather than the 10 hours. And then in the active growing stage, it will be 16 hours on and eight hours off. So Rose, you can turn it on at the plug there. Okay, and then just press the normal, there's the beep we're waiting for, just press the normal button. Ooh, there we go. And I don't know if you can hear the fan, let me take you close. Not sure if the camera will pick that up, it is very quiet and um, background noises like fans and whirring and things like that. Do wind me up and actually I think I can live with this. Now what it says to do is to leave these little caps on until the plant touches the top and then take them off. So that is what we're going to do and we will do a follow-up video. I want to get this up um, as soon as possible to show you that um, how this is set up and how it is used and then I will do a follow-up after we've um, you know followed day day three, week, week one, week two, etc. Okay, so look out for that video coming up. Do subscribe to see future videos from us and everything else we get on up to at the allotment. And thanks for joining us today. Bye bye everybody.